I'm going to show you how to work a circle from the center out in double crochet using joined rounds. I'm using US crochet terminology, but in the UK this stitch would be called a treble crochet. I'll begin by doing a chain four. You might want to do a chain five, either one is fine. And then join with a slip stitch to form a ring. That means to work into the first chain. So I'm going all the way back here, putting my hook into that first chain and doing a slip stitch, which is go in, yarn over, and pull through everything you've got. And what I have done is create a ring. You can, can't see it very well right there, but right there where you see my fingernail popping out is that ring, and all the stitches are going to be worked into that ring. Round one begins with a chain three. That's my turning chain or my build-up chain, and I'm going to count that as a double crochet. I need to put 11 double crochets into this ring. So to do the first double crochet, yarn over and go into the ring. And I may have to dig a little bit, make that ring a little bit more open. I'm not working into a chain. I'm working right into the center of that ring. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. That's my first real double crochet. I'm going to work a total of 11 of those double crochets into this ring. As I work, the ring gets a little bit larger and you can see it, but remember you're working right into that open space there. The other thing you want to be careful about is you want to make sure that you are putting the stitches parallel to each other. You don't want the, the base of the stitches jumping over each other, and I'll show you why that is in just a sec. So I keep moving around the ring, but it looks like I'm going to run out of space here and I haven't gotten all my stitches in here yet. Well, that's perfectly fine. I can take my hook out and see that's not enough stitches yet, but because I kept these legs of the stitch when I went in, I kept those parallel to each other. I'm able to slide these stitches around and scrunch them up together so I give myself a little more space here. Let me see how many stitches I have. There's my turning chain. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to put three more in here. And it's always a good idea to go back and check and make sure you have the number of stitches you need. So I'm counting this chain three as a stitch. With that chain three, I should have a total of 12 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I've got what I need for round one. To finish round one, put a slip stitch in the top of that chain three turning chain. There's one, two, three. I'm working into the top chain, not into the chain space, into the chain itself to join round one and finish it off. I'm ready to start round two. To work round two, I'm going to have to increase to keep my circle flat. So I start with a chain three. That's my first double crochet, but I need to put two double crochets in each stitch around. So I need one more stitch in the same place where that um, slip stitch went. So I'm putting another stitch in that very same spot, another double crochet. So that's my first increase. Now I'm going to put two double crochets in each of these stitches around and I'm working under both loops of the V at the top of this stitch. So I'm putting two double crochet in each stitch around. To do that, I just put one stitch in this next stitch and then the second stitch just goes in the very same stitch as the last one. So that's how you increase. You just put two stitches in one base stitch. As I come around toward the end of my round, sometimes it's a little bit hard to tell where the very last stitch of the round is, but it's always a good idea to stop and count. At this point I should have 24 double crochets, so I'm going to count 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So I'm good there. And join with a slip stitch in the top chain right here, not into the space, but into the chain. So there I am with two rounds complete. Round three also requires increases, but I don't have to increase in every stitch like I did on round two. This time I'm going to increase in every other stitch. So I'll start round three with a chain three that's going to count as a double crochet. Then I'm going to work two double crochets in the next stitch. So one, two, and then I just do that around. Double crochet in the next stitch, then two double crochets in the next stitch. So one stitch in the next stitch, and then two stitches in the next. I want to stop and count at the end of round three to make sure that I have 36 double crochets. And then join with a slip stitch to the top of that chain three. I also want to stop and check and make sure it's lying flat. That's looking pretty good to me. It's not cupping up too much or, or curving. So I've got the right number of increases here. Let's do one more round. Round four begins with a chain three. Now I'm going to be increasing in every third stitch. Let's start by doing an increase right here to start by putting a double crochet into the same stitch and then double crochet in the next two stitches. and then do another increase. Two stitches in the next stitch, then one stitch in each of the next two. So that's increasing in every third stitch. Round four is complete. To continue working a flat circle, increase 12 stitches on each round Make sure those increases are evenly spaced and that they aren't on top of each other on each round. You want to offset them from each other so you don't end up with the increases stacked on top of each other. If you'd like more instruction like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out the links in the video notes for more ways you can find me. Thanks for watching.